The Cooper Trooper Foundation's annual pumpkin patch fundraiser is happening now through October 31st. This special patch has not only been a local favorite for pumpkin picking, but holds a special place in the hearts of many affected by pediatric cancer. The Cooper Trooper Foundation pumpkin patch was started 13 years ago. This is the primary fundraiser for the Cooper Trooper Foundation. The namesake of the foundation is Cooper Cook, and when he was a young boy, he had a rare form of pediatric cancer. What his parents, Rod and Missy Cook Brookover, found that during the treatment process, his two siblings felt really alone, left out, and scared because all of the attention was rightfully given to Cooper. So they started this foundation as a means to provide for the healthy siblings who have a brother or sister that is battling pediatric cancer. The patch is located in front of Walgreens on the corner of Cool Springs Boulevard and Mallory Lane. In addition to a wide variety of pumpkins, a photo op is also available at the end of the patch. This year we're open all the way through Monday, October 31st, which is Halloween. We offer a huge variety of decorative pumpkins as well as jack-o'-lanterns. We got them all shapes and sizes, a multitude of colors. We also sell decorative corn. We sell corn stalks with corn attached to them. And we also sell a few hay bales that we have remaining. The patch is completely volunteer run and those interested in helping can sign up online. Even if you can't volunteer, supporting the foundation by purchasing a pumpkin is much appreciated. If you would like to make a donation online, you may do so at coopertrooper.org. And as well, if you ever would like to volunteer as an individual or in a group, you can go to that website as well, coopertrooper.org, and find all the details and calendar to, to help uh, volunteer. Support a great cause by stopping by the patch open through Halloween. Avery Allen, WBHS 9. These are some of the things I say all the time. I do. I can't imagine living without art. Art is life, and life is art. Um, and the very last... Marilyn Derwenska has spent much of her life doing the things she loves most. She earned three degrees in painting and went on to teach art at the college level for more than 30 years. Even after her retirement, art continues to hold a special place in her heart. But in 2019, Marilyn's ability to create art was jeopardized. She fell against the cement floor in her garage, injuring herself and leaving her unable to hold a paintbrush the way she used to. When I fell, which happened two years ago, and I broke my wrist and my arm and my hip, I could deal with the hip okay, but not the because it was my right hand and I'm right-handed. When I hold a brush and I want to, let's say the spot's right here, there's no guarantee that I'm going to hit that spot. I'm going to, it could be anywhere in this area, which is pretty frustrating if you're trying to paint skillfully. You want to be able to make what you want to make. And I've had a lot of training, a lot of years of practice. And suddenly I couldn't do that anymore. But Marilyn persevered. She knew giving up on her passion wasn't an option. I just couldn't re even write. I couldn't hold a pen. I couldn't hold a brush. But I thought, oh, I just will have to find another way. So that's what I've been working on now for a couple of years. While her ways of making art may be different, she still channels the same creative energy into her work. So I think this is one of the best paintings I've done in my life, as a matter of fact. But it, it still uses many things that you have, you have to learn about composition, uh, about color, and those things were not affected. After years of retraining herself to hold the brush, Marilyn has improved her skills. It took me a number of years of lots and lots of scribbling and scratching and using a brush. I can hold the brush. But what I can't do with my hand-eye coordination has been thrown off too. So now I can't get the spot where I really want it. Marilyn's journey is a testament to her love for art and teaching, despite the obstacles that came with it. Avery Allen, WBHS 9.